previous lecture of plant water relation we studied about the structure of root hair as you can see over here the structure of root hair we studied in the last lecture that it comprises of the cell wall the plasma membrane cytoplasm mitochondria vacuole and nucleus and also we studied about the imbibition imbibition is one of the mode of absorption of water by the root hair so imbibition just will have a quick recap that is imbibition is nothing but absorption or adhesion of water molecules by the hydrophilic compounds imbibition is the adhesion or the absorption of water molecules by the hydrophilic compounds next mode of transportation or the next mode of absorption of water by the root hair is diffusion diffusion now what is diffusion diffusion is movement of ions atoms molecules of a substance from a region of high concentration to the region of low concentration is known as diffusion the movement of ions or atoms or molecules of a substance from the region of higher concentration to the lower concentration or in short we can say movement of a substance from the region of high concentration to the lower concentration now the movement from high to low for how much time or for what kind of period or how much time it will take to travel from high to low will it be continuous will it it will go on go on or go on or it will stop somewhere yes the as we know that diffusion means the movement from high to low okay but the process will continue unless and until an equilibrium is reached and what is meant by equilibrium equilibrium matlab dono side mein concentration equal ho jayega that is known as equilibrium so the substance will move from the high concentration to the low concentration until the equilibrium is reached this diffusion or in this diffusion the substance we can call it as diffusing particles the substance can be called we, call, we can call it as diffusing particle so the diffusing particles move with the help of kinetic energy the diffusing particles will move from high to low with the help of this kinetic energy and they will uh, continue to move from high to low unless and until equilibrium is reached so basically diffusion is movement of the substance from the region of high concentration to the low concentration until equilibrium is reached now the water passes into the cell wall with the help of diffusion as we have studied earlier in the previous lecture that the cell wall is freely permeable and the plasma membrane is selectively or semi permeable membrane that means the cell wall will allow as it is freely permeable it will allow the diffusing particles to enter into the cell based on this diffusion process based on the diffusion process now there is a term that is known as diffusion pressure now what is basically diffusion pressure you will study this term in your textbook that is this is new a um, kind of new term what is diffusion pressure so diffusion pressure is related to the movement of diffusing particles that is diffusion pressure is directly proportional to the number of diffusing particles 
diffusion pressure is directly proportional to the number of diffusing particles. Now, the diffusion pressure of a pure solvent is always greater than the solvent present in a solution. Little complicated, let's see. Pure solvent and solvent in a solution. Pure solvent matla what? Diffusion pressure is directly proportional to the number of diffusing particles as I said. The diffusion pressure of a pure solvent, the diffusion pressure of pure solvent is always greater than that of a solvent in a solution. Why? Because pure solvent matlab maha pe water, the concentration of water is more. Whereas when we talk about the solution, the concentration of solvent automatically becomes less. So the concentration or the diffusion pressure of a pure solvent is always higher as compared to the diffusion pressure of a solvent in a solution. Now one more term, a new term is there that is diffusion pressure deficit. Now we understood the difference between the diffusion pressure of pure solvent and the diffusion pre pressure of a solvent in a solution, right? Now, what does this DPD or diffusion pressure deficit? Diffusion pressure deficit is nothing but diffusion pressure deficit is nothing but difference. Difference. Difference of what? Difference of the diffusion pressure of a pure solvent and the diffusion pressure of a solvent in a solution. But love, diffusion pressure deficit is equal to diffusion pressure of pure solvent minus diffusion pressure of solvent in a solution. So diffusion pressure deficit is equal to the diffusion pressure of a pure solvent and minus the diffusion pressure of a solvent in a solution. Now basically that means what will be the DPD of a cell? What will be for example of the root cell? What will be the DPD of a root cell? As it is a difference between the diffusion pressure of pure solvent and solvent in a solution. So the DPD means the thirst of a cell to absorb the water. DPD of a cell, DPD of a cell, DPD of a cell is thirst of the cell to absorb water and because of this the diffusion process will occur and the water will enter the cell wall will enter the cell wall over here it will enter the cell wall because of this DPD and why it is important why diffusion is important because diffusion will help the root cell to absorb water against gravity. It will help in absorption of other nutrients too which are essential for the growth, for the growth or the development of the root cell. Of the root cell. Again I will repeat why this DPD is required or why this diffusion is important because this diffusion will help the water to enter the cell wall as DPD will be created and it will help the water to get absorbed in the root cell and water is required for various purposes 
and this diffusion will help because diffusion helps the root cell to absorb the water against the gravitational force and also the other nutrients will also enter into the or will be absorbed by the root cell.